What's going on everybody? Evan here with Evan's Detailing and Polishing. As you can see, I got brown compound and green compound sitting in front of me and a bunch of dirty towels that are unfolded. What's that all about? Well, we're gonna break it down for you today. What we're looking at is a lot of people are sending me questions asking me, did I mess up in my cut or did I mess up in my color? I'm getting white lines. <laughs> Now white lines are what we're focusing on. We're not talking about brown lines or yellow lines, we're talking about white lines. And nine times out of 10, white lines are a mess up in your cut stage and not in your color stage. Most people think that they're seeing it in their color only because they're seeing it when they color. Now a lot of people will say, well, when I was done cutting, I didn't have any lines. But when I went to go color is when I saw them all. So what it is, nine times out of 10, is the green just turns the lights on. So these towels right here that are all dirty and nasty, if I turn the lights off and then back on again, did these towels clean themselves up? No, they're not gonna do it on their own. If I turn the lights off again and then back on again, meaning I recolored multiple times, did it clean them up that time? No. Still not cleaned up, they're still all laying in a pile here, the lights didn't do a damn thing. But, if I turn them off, and do proper cutting, the cutting comes in, folds all these towels really nice, makes them look all nice and pretty, puts them on a nice neat pile in the corner. Bear with me here, I do not do laundry. So if I fold all these up real nice and neat, almost done, bear with me here. All right, so we got all these folded up real nice. And now, if I turn the lights on, whoa, look at that. They're all nice and folded, nice and neat in a pile. Think of the brown as your own personal maid, or if some of you still live at home, think of it as your mother cleaning up after you. The green, all it does is it turn the lights on. All it is is showing you what you did or didn't do. All it does is highlight how great of a job you did. Now the blues and purples, the blue, once it's applied, the blue is super, super picky. The blue is like ultra bright light. You can't even turn the lights in this room that bright. That's why most people hate blue, because it shows you every imperfection and every flaw that you've done. Now remember, the brown, I always say you can cut up to seven times. Anything more than that, you should have sanded it better. But the brown, you can cut it multiple times with multiple different buffs to get it down to the, where you want it to be. <clears throat> and then the green just comes in, turns the lights on, and colors it. So remember, if you turn your lights off and turn them back on and it isn't right, go back to your cut stage. Once you get back to your cut stage, you're golden. So. Cut it as many times as you can, get it as perfect as you can, and once you're happy with where you're at with your cut stage, color it. If your lines are white, nine times out of 10, you need to go back to your cut stage. Thanks for watching these videos, I truly appreciate you. Check out more of our great how-to videos here on our channel, youtube.com forward slash Evan Stager Metal Polishing. And if you want any of these products, stop by goshineon.com forward slash shop and get yours today.